one of his colleagues, co-workers of the day, Paul, experienced the same thing. He was shipwrecked, beaten, abandoned, arrested, spent years in jail. And what does Paul say in his last letter to his apprentice, Timothy? He tells Timothy, for God does not give us a spirit of cowardice or fear, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. What he's telling Timothy as he's writing him these last words is, look, I don't care what's going on in your life. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to worry because God instead replaces that again with his power. And that Greek word power comes from a word that we use called dynamite because it's dynamos. It's powerful. It's mighty. That love is another fruit of the spirit that God gives to us that just is bestowed upon us. And that discipline, that self-control. These are things that God gives freely to us, his church, through the power of his Holy Spirit. And he says, when I come upon you, these things should enter your life so that no matter what is going on in the world around you, that love, that joy, that power, that self-control are always there because God is. He's saying, do not fear because God is here. God is within us, within me and within us.